Do we caramel cake in the roses? Aye, aye, exactly that. That a caramel cake sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> and welcome to our tasting today. I'm Jen. I'm Rachel. And we're trying another whiskey today. Hey, whiskey! This is one of our firm favourites. This is. is a top seller with us and we really, really love it. Um, it is, as you can tell, quite low down the bottle. Glen Scotia double cask. Um, so, yeah. So this is our kind of entry level bottle, I suppose, from Glen Scotia. Mm -hmm. um, and it is Campbellton. Yep. But mm -hmm. not a classic Campbelltown style, would you say? It does say on the bottle that it is the classic Campbelltown malt. Well, that seems a controversial statement. Yeah, yeah I know. So, like, apparently from what I've heard of Campbelltown way back, they called it whiskey for the sailors. It was really, like, harsh and, like, rough and ready. Yep. Whereas this is not. No, definitely not. Of that. It's got a wee, um, so usually peated, right? And this is not peated. Usually yeah, their standard yeah. stuff is not peated. Or the Victoria, I think it's called a wee bit of peated. A wee bit, I think, yeah. Um, and their lemon stations often are, but they do all have a wee kind of salty coastal flavour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, which I like a kind of cooling, mm -hmm. kind of almost more than salty for me. I and think. it's a great drama. I always recommend this to people who like things like Balvenie Doublewood or if you're just getting into whiskey, but also good if you already love whiskey. It's just a really good. I love Glen Scotia. Yeah, it's a nice, easy drinking yeah. whiskey, this one. And I and love it's, this one particularly, yeah. Yeah, so it's double cask, um, so it's bourbon and, or it's American oak mm -hmm. and Pedro Jimenez sherry. Yeah. So, like the darkest, richest, sweetest, syrupiest sherry, which I think comes through. It makes it like a kind of toffee smoothness, I think. Definitely, definitely. And this one, I think uh, the rep had said does it was between 8 and 10 years, average, speaking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Averagely not speaking. Averagely speaking. <laughs> com commonly um, spoken. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're commonly spoken. I, uh, I am. I am, by the way. Fear my mental, that. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, so, smell. I'm getting that, like, quite a savoury smell to that, actually. Yeah. And a wee bit of a kind of flat leather, you know? A tiny bit, yeah. But, like, it is still, like, mostly S sweet. sweet. Yeah. Sweet and syrupy and Caramelly. caramel, toffee. Yeah, like salted the, caramel. The carrot salt caramel is a really good one. The caramel that you get like in one of the what's the qual quality street that's what's the purple one? That kinda like really smooth, silky kind of Yeah, I don't I think it's called the purple one, that's, is it? I think it's called the purple one. The wee caramel keg in the roses. Aye, aye, exactly that. That <laughs> Slange. Slange. Mmm. <laughs> -hmm. Really sweet. So <laughs> really, really sweet. Really sweet. It's really sweet. This <laughs> one, it is so sweet, and it's um, nice amount of spice to it as well. Just very. Mm, it does. It has like a wee spice in the background. Yeah. This is yeah, like one of our top sellers, and whenever we Definitely. do tastings of it, it's usually like the favourite. It's just Daddy's drinking. Really nice price. Really good whiskey. And it's a good whiskey for getting you away from your usual. Not that we want to get you away from your favourite whiskey, but it's good if you're like stuck in a rut with your whiskey mm -hmm. and you don't know what else to try. Mm -hmm. This is like a nice safe one, but it's a little bit less heard of and it kind of gets you out there trying more whiskey, I think. Because I don't know when the first time I tried this was. Like when? First time I tried this was actually at the um, Scotch Whiskey Experience in Edinburgh. Oh, was it? Um, I was just delicious, quite burnt caramel as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially no, on the it's delicious. Provincial is great. Yeah, and it's quite an old distillery as well. It's one of Campbelltown's oldest distilleries. Eighteen something something. Eighteen. Eighteen thirty-two, and they say I've not visited yet actually, although I've been to Campbelltown a few times. Um, but they say it's, it's been closed for a while from mm. COVID. Um, but yeah, they say it's like walking back in time. It's still like all the old Victorian machinery and stuff, which is really cool. It's eighteen thirty-two, not the year we got our licenses, so they're probably around. They were probably around for a bit before, before that, before but that. that was when they first started legally. Yeah, making yeah, giving probably out yeah licenses because so Campbelltown was the most populated region in Scotland for whiskey distilleries, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said for whiskey there. <laughs> it's never been very populated. <laughs> yeah, it used to have like, th over thirty distilleries and a population of less than two thousand. Yep, and that's just legal distilleries. Yeah, so exactly yeah, yeah. They know there was a number of other yeah. illegal distilleries as well. So, so. very cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Sorry, I've got a small dog who's looking at us. <laughs> she was nearly asleep a minute ago and now she's like, please She's just staring at me. She's just... <laughs> Is she allowed to join us for the last bit of the video? She could join us for the last bit of the video, right? You coming up then? Oh, they both are right here. This will be funny. Right, come on then. You come up. Hello. Are you coming up? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna haul her there. We're just gonna have to put you back again. Aren't we? <laughs> Say hello to the camera. Hello, camera. Oh, text you're smelling. Smelling, smelling. Anyway, anyway, thank you for joining us. I love Glen Scotia. We love dogs we'll as well. There we go. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh my god. He's sat in the smell. Oh no, he's. <laughs> Daisy's trapped. <laughs> Are you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy She's I've got a dram and a dog crying. on me. I'm happy. I'm so happy. This is great. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for joining us. And we'll be, we'll be back next Sunday with another dram. Yes. Excited for it. Slange. Already. Slange. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You can catch us on social media as well, at The Grail Tastings. Slange. And see you next time. First time I tried this, I <laughs> inhaled it. I was um, like, oh, <coughs> this is lovely. It's I hate lovely. you when that happens. It just comes down your throat at the wrong time. The first time we tried our bottle in a Glen Scotia, and I took one sip and I was like, oh, I'm like, it's, 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 it's